Hello and welcome to Reliance Training on getting started with Reliance Reliability Prediction. In this tutorial, we'll cover an overview of Reliance Reliability Prediction so you can start your own analysis. Note that details on editing data will be covered in our next Getting Started with Reliance Reliability Prediction video. To start, we are signed into Reliance and viewing the welcome dialog. If you do not have this open, click the Help drop-down on the top right of your screen and click Welcome to Reliance. In the Welcome dialog, make sure that Reliability Prediction is selected using the module selectors on the left. We will be using our drone example in this tutorial, so we click Open Example Analysis. If you have already opened the drone example analysis, you can easily remove all of your changes by clicking Revert Example in the sidebar, which is highlighted in the message that Reliance is now showing. This is not necessary in this case, so I'll click Got It to clear the message. And here Reliance has opened our sample drone analysis. We see the sidebar on the left, which provides us access to various Reliance features and functions, the analysis tree section to the right of the sidebar, which contains our system structure, and the parts table on the right of the screen, which displays the parts and some part data for the selected analysis tree item. Note as we select different analysis tree items, the parts table is updated to display the associated parts where applicable. The analysis tree allows us to define the relationships of subsystems and parts within the product or system we are modeling. Note that you can edit the structure of your analysis tree by clicking the Edit button here in the toolbar. We will not edit the analysis tree structure in this tutorial. Feel free to check the Reliance Help for further details as needed. Additionally, each subsystem has associated properties, from qualitative descriptive information like reference designator and description to important quantitative values that impact the reliability prediction analysis, such as ambient temperature and environment. To view and edit these key properties, we click Properties in the toolbar of the Analysis Tree. On this page, we can review and edit data such as Description and Reference Designator, the ambient temperature in Celsius at which our system is operating, the expected operating environment, and many other fields. It is also where we select the calculation model, which will be the basis for the reliability prediction analysis. Note that the drone example is based on the Mill Handbook 217 Revision F Notice 2 Reliability Prediction Standard. Reliance Reliability Prediction supports Mill Handbook 217, as well as the ANSI Vita 51.1, Telcordia 217 Plus, and China's GJB-Z299C standards. Additionally, note there is a failure rate section, which contains calculated fields for each subsystem based on the parts and children of that subsystem, or an option to enter a specified failure rate. While here on the Properties page, note that you can select any analysis tree item to see its properties. To return to the parts table, we simply click Go Back in the Analysis Tree toolbar. We saw briefly earlier how each analysis tree item has its own parts table. This helps to organize your analysis. So in this example, the quadcopter drone and motherboard subsystems, for example, each have their own parts table. As we click any analysis tree item, we see its component parts displayed in the parts table. Now let's focus here on the parts table. We can see all of the parts for the particular subsystem selected in the analysis tree, in this case the motherboard, edit some data for each part, and add new parts. 
The parts table is a great way to view all the parts in a certain subsystem, but it does not include all of the fields used by Reliance Reliability Prediction for calculations. To view all of these fields for a particular part, such as the microprocessor here on the motherboard, we make sure that single row is selected in the parts table, and in the rightmost part of the toolbar, we click to form. Now we're viewing the parts form. Here we can see all of the data fields available for the selected part. We can also see navigation buttons here to step through the different parts associated with the selected subsystem. Note that the data fields for each category and subcategory combination do vary according to the requirements as specified in the selected calculation model. In this case, the Mill Handbook 217 FN2 model was selected and is used throughout unless any override is applied. And no override is applied in this case. Because the parts of the motherboard subsystem have different part types or category subcategory selections, as we move to see other parts in this form view, we will see the data fields in the lower part of the window change. So a different part type and a different set of fields. Once again, a different part type and a different set of data fields. Note that we do not have to populate every field on this form in order to perform calculations. If any information is unknown, we can leave the data value blank and Reliance will automatically use average default values during calculations. When we have completed viewing and editing data in the parts form, we click the two table button on the right of the toolbar to return to the parts table. Once all of our analysis data has been entered, we can calculate the resulting failure rate and MTBF, or mean time between failures, of our overall analysis and of each subsystem. To start the calculation, we click Calculate in the sidebar. The Calculate Reliability Prediction dialog appears. For this example, we make sure that all the failure metrics and all the failure rate additional metrics are selected, and we click Calculate to perform the reliability prediction calculations. Once complete, the calculation results for the top level and other subsystems will be displayed here on the Reliability Prediction Calculation Results dialog. When we are done viewing the calculation results here, we click Close to return to the analysis. Recall that calculated failure rate and MTBF results are also available in the Analysis Tree Properties view shown earlier. Lastly, in this overview, we're going to look at reporting from Reliance Reliability Prediction. In Reliance, all reports are tied to the view you have displayed, such as the parts table here. This makes reporting very simple. We'll generate a report for the parts of the quadcopter drone, so let's select it before we begin the reporting process. We click Report in the sidebar. The Report Options dialog appears. Here we can set a custom report title, select the subsystems we want to report on, and select different part data fields to add to the report. The subsystems dropdown has three choices. Current subsystem, which has the report include the parts in the subsystem selected in the analysis tree, Current subsystem and all children, which has the report include the parts in the subsystem selected in the analysis tree and the parts of all of the selected subsystem's child items, or entire system, which has the report include all of the parts in the analysis. For this tutorial, let's leave this option set as current subsystem, so our report will have all the parts with the quadcopter drone as the parent. Additionally, there are options on what data you want to include on the report in addition to the fields on the parts table. The options are all part data, which will include all of the data entered on the parts form specific to the part type or category subcategory combination, part stress data, which will include data pertaining to stress data for the parts such as power, current, and voltage, part quality, which will include the quality level selected for each part, 
and part pi factors, which will include the pi factors for each part, which help to calculate the part failure rates. For this tutorial, let's leave all of these options unchecked to keep the report focused on the data from the parts table. Note we can also customize the report header, and next we click Report, which prompts Reliance to open a new browser tab and load the report with our data. We can print this report, or easily download it using the export options shown here in the toolbar. We can output to PDF, Excel worksheet, PowerPoint presentation, TIFF file, which is an image or Word document. When done viewing this report, we simply close the browser tab and go back to Reliance. This concludes this Getting Started with Reliance Reliability Prediction Overview Tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please visit our website or contact us with any questions or to obtain pricing and purchasing information.